Hey everybody, it's Chad Warren here at the Adventurer Channel on YouTube and the adventurerchannel.com slash blog and here's the Discord chat I'm at. What do we do about evil? So I'm somebody that has uh, looked at all these conspiracies and the dark occult and all this jazz and then uh, recently uh, I've got uh, two, two people, groups, uh, that I'm looking at, and, and I'm getting these two different vibes from them, and I'm in the middle of those. So the one place is a place where I go, and the people uh, talk about a lot of dark content. And... Uh, it's all a big funny joke to them is the way it seems to me right so like you know I'm interested in learning the truth of what's really going on in the secret societies and the dark occult and how do we stop this pedophilia and obviously I'm sure those people want to stop uh, all that too uh, and then uh, you know I even <clears throat> reached out to one of these uh, people, a content producer, in a comment saying, hey, you know, like, I think that you're uh, making things worse by the way you're focusing on this uh, negativity, like, believing that the, these people are coming after, you know, like, you're the cause of the problem. And obviously, you know, my relative to me my parents are like man what what good has come from you being associated with all this dark content you know okay so that's that's the kind of one side and then on the other side is a content producer that's uh, you know trying to be the the good guy and warn everybody and is disgusted at uh all this behavior in Hollywood uh, that uh, people are fine to let their children be destroyed through becoming actors and being around uh, drugs and uh, yada 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 and I think I'm just saying something we all know here but I'm just saying it as a reminder and I would like to see this idea temper the way forward as far as truth seeker activists trying to translate this knowledge that is growing because of the internet and social media and in and to define our actions going forward so um you know every one of us has uh good in us uh you know, uh, Jesus Christ is in us, is what the Bible says, in everybody. It's not a religion. It's, it's an, uh, a recognition. And like uh, the old, uh, I'm 42, born in 76, so I remain, remember the devil inside. Every single one of us, the devil inside. That's true, too. That's true, too. So, we shouldn't, if we want to be the, the good people, we should not show our stink faces. Ew, that's revolting, right? Because right behind that feeling of that's revolting is we need to kill these people, to, to wipe them out like roaches, you know? I mean, uh, I have those strong feelings. Uh, thankfully, I don't feel impelled to act on that. But uh, I do want to do something about it. And the doing of something about it is, you know, if there are secret codes within all the uh, Pixar movies, which there are, and uh, there's a guy, Casey, that goes by Enter the Stars. And... Uh, I, I support a lot of what he is saying. He is talking today about how he was given a scholarship to go to, 
I can't remember the name, the, an art institute in California, in all these Pixar movies and different, I guess, all kinds of uh, shows. Uh, the, the whole animation world, as we know it, has spawned out of this room at this art institute called uh, A113. One, uh, one, uh, and uh, so let's focus on the core concept of art, okay, is about symbols. You're, you're representing, representing life in, in painting or, or whatever your art is, okay? So that, that is about how we all have a subconscious Okay, there is a part of us that wants to kill and, and do all those things uh, simply because uh, we are physically the in these bodies, you see, and there's a lust for life. Okay, and then there's the simple dichotomy between spiritual life as to want what is eternal, which is the part of us that is not physically here. The, the, these hands are not touching each other. There's an electromagnetic repulsion. Uh, so it's a very factual, scientific thing in addition to a, a spiritual concept. So that would be just the admonition to the people that want to be the good people is you are wrong. I am wrong. If I think that anything at any time is ever even able to happen in a way that it should not, right? And so if, if we don't want our youth to be destroyed by materialism, uh, drug addiction, and whatnot, then we're going to have to point towards positive alternatives. So anybody that is making a, a, a content and saying here's the devil well if you don't show me the positive alternative then you uh, the good person is just as guilty as that person that's way more comfortable with this dark occult and I'm concerned about them you, you, you see what I'm saying so I guess I feel like this judge referee morally you know i'm just sharing my my reason uh, and i would say well we're talking about law that if you're for good you shouldn't have anything to do with the law and this person casey under the stars made a good point that he doesn't pay taxes he's happy making less than the amount of money that would require him to pay taxes. So I really do think that there are ways that are built in to allow people to live a spiritual life. So really, you know, complaining is off the table. Well, I don't think... Wrong. If you have that tone of voice, wrong. Now, we can act like a, uh, you know, uh, somebody giving assistance. This is the way, like you work at the information booth at the mall. This way's the movie theater. This way's the J.C. Penney's, you know. This way's hell and damnation. This way is eternal salvation. So, because I think I've been plain enough in uh, what I'm saying um, so, if, if you can share with me positive alternatives to whatever the problem is, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much.